Welcome back everybody. Today we are working on the Datsun again. We are going to pull the intake manifold. There's a car show coming up this summer called Cache Valley Cruise Inn that I'm going to be attending and I would like the car to look really nice so I'm going to take it apart and clean everything up. So I've started by taking apart the throttle linkage itself. So you're going to have to uh, take this bolt out. It gives you wiggle room back and forth then there's a cotter pin in this one i will show you in a second that you remove and then this whole assembly right here pops off i've now got the throttle bottle throttle bottle throttle body throttle mother throttle body linkage removed it just pops off i used uh just a, a fork tool it looks just like this and it just prize it off and then I've slid that rest of the linkage out to right there um, the best way to take this off is going to be after the intake manifold is removed so I'll go ahead and start unplugging everything and get ready for that so I've got the harness removed and everything pulled off to the side as you can see and then I've got one more bolt on the intake manifold to remove the rest of them are still on there, but they're loose. That way I can get them out. That's off. Your cold start injector is off as well. And then, other than that, I got to pull fuel lines off, and I got to pull a couple coolant lines off, and the intake manifold will come right out. So, 10, 15 minutes worth of work, but I've got to hit the hay for work tomorrow and then we'll finish taking it off in the morning so you will see that next thanks for that past me welcome back we're continuing the video i've got to finish pulling this off i need to pull the heat shield that way i can get to the bottom bolts on the intake manifold and then this is ready to come off pretty much and then i gotta mask it up and get it ready for the wrinkle black paint we're going to be putting on it okay so i got a little distracted after I took one of the heat shields off and I started cleaning it, I'll turn you around so you can see it a little bit better. But as you can see, I haven't done that yet. I kind of just focused on this square and tried to get as much as the grime out as I possibly could. Those dark spots are, I don't know if they're heat stains or if they're actual like grime or if it's actual grime that's like just literally stained the metal. But uh, I'm going to keep polishing this out, then I'll get the rest of the intake off, and we'll be good to go. <clears throat> so I got that polished up a lot better than what it did look like. Turn it around. That's not clean. I'll probably just wipe that off. You're never going to see this portion of it. You barely see this part of it, so it doesn't matter that much. Just something I thought I'd do. While everything was apart, just kind of touch things up, make the engine bay look nice. I mean... In the end, it doesn't really matter, but at least I know that I did it. And when I took it apart, I've cleaned everything. So that's all. Well, I had one more bolt, literally one more bolt to get out for that heat shield. And it stripped. So I ended up sawzawing the bolt itself off. I'll show you here in a sec. So this is now where that lives as you can see I stripped the shit out of it and there's probably no way to take it out with you know hand tools i'd have to end up drilling that out um at least it's part of the intake manifold that you know doesn't see airflow so we're fine all right so i've got everything masked off ready to go holes plugged up that need to be plugged up and we are going to get get spraying so i'm gonna show you what i'm using i've heard decent things about this so we're gonna give this shot worst comes to worst i just you know clean everything off and do it again so i'll give it a shot i'll keep you updated and let you know how things are going so i let it sit overnight after spraying three coats on here one horizontally vertical and then diagonal and it's actually wrinkled a lot better than i thought it would better than it has in the past 
when I've used this kind of product. Um, I did one more coat just for safe measure, just in case I missed any spots, although everything looks pretty good. All right, so we've got somewhere, somewhere in there. There it is. The intake manifold painted. Everything is good to go. I need to take the tape off of it, and then we'll take another look at it. Everything looks great. It came out pretty good for a spray wrinkle black can. So 12 bucks, well spent, I guess. Um, so I'm going to get started on that. And I'll show you what it looks like with all the tape off and uh, make sure that we can still thread things in and put the injectors in and stuff like that. So I'd say everything turned out pretty well. Everything still threads in that I need. Um, I might have to clean that up just a bit because I don't think the gasket will seal over that. But everything else looks great. I'm going to clean up the other heat shield, the one that you're actually going to be able to see. This one. And then we'll start throwing everything back together. So I got the throttle body back on. This is ready to go in. I cleaned up a little bit on this side. Not a whole lot. The wire wheel doesn't really get in there very well. But I was able to get this side pretty good for the most part, except for the spark plug holes. And that's more so just for peace of mind. I know things have been cleaned and taken care of, that's all. So I got the intake manifold back on. If you so happen to have a Z car and you're doing this, there's one bolt right in there. That guy. Don't put the throttle body on first. It made it that much more of a pain in the ass. I mean, if you have a quarter inch drive ratchet at 12 and a three inch extension, it's not terrible. You can do it from underneath the intake, but if you've got this off, just put the throttle body on after you put the intake manifold on. Are you recording? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> Why? So, the intake manifold, it's... Why don't you pull it out of the box or turn it around? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna... Yeah, Keep what, talking. what are you doing? Keep talking. So, the intake manifold is back on, and in the process, I fixed something or moved a loose wire or bad connection on something the car runs 10 times better than it ever has anyway so this is what it looks like i'm also replacing the ignition coil so i've got that pulled apart and that's what she's holding right now that's the new performance one performance coil performance ignition performance coil 12 volt 12 volt so i'm gonna go ahead throw that in the car but i'm gonna end the video right here she's complaining about not being in the videos so this is he records them without me he doesn't tell me he's recording and it's cold outside i don't want to be outside so this is <laughs> is that so thank you all for watching like comment subscribe let me know what you want to see probably more audi content coming soon because you guys seem to love it so uh stay tuned for that later see ya